Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the integration of PostgreSQL database with the NodeRaid. That how you can create the table inside the PostgreSQL database, how you can delete the table, how you can insert the data into the table and how you can select the data from the table and how you can display the data on the dashboard in the table format. Okay. Now in this video, instead of integrating NodeRaid with PostgreSQL, we are going to integrate our NodeRaid with MySQL database. Okay, so we will integrate our NodeRaid with MySQL database. We will create the table, we will delete the table, we will insert the data into the table, and we will select the data from the table, and then we will display it on the NodeRaid dashboard. Okay, and if you want to get the flow for this integration, then you can directly get it from this link. So all you have to do is just right click and open that in the new tab. Okay, so this is our NodeRaid flow, which we are going to cover in this video, and you can uh, get this node dead flow from this link you can copy the json from here otherwise you can copy the json from here okay and our uh, mysql database is up and running fine here you can see here is our test database so inside the test database there is no table right now so we are going to create the table inside the test database and we will check the integration of node red with mysql database and if you don't have a mysql database up and running in your system then you can watch this video okay so you can create your own mysql database virtual lab for free using virtual labs .online for testing learning and development so you don't have to pay anything you just order your mysql free virtual lab and it will be available for two to three hour to use it okay so there will be a test database for you you can use that database you can create the table inside that database you can you know perform the operation as well okay so if you don't have the mysql database installed in your system then you can use this virtual labs.online to create your own mysql virtual lab now let's directly focus on the node red with mysql integration so here is our node red flow okay now here you can see i have used this mysql connector and this is the node okay it's a mysql node now how to get this mysql node so all you have to do is go to the manage palette and search for mysql so i have installed this node red node mysql okay in my node red and after installing this you will have this mysql node and you will get this from here you can see mysql okay so you will have your mysql node in the storage section now once you have this mysql node okay in your node red you have to configure it so you have to configure it to connect with database once you double click this node the configuration will open for this node and here you have to provide your database details so i have provided my local mysql database details here and here you can see all the details so this is my local mysql database it's running on the IP address 127.0.0.1. The port number is 3306. The username is root. And here is the password. And here we have mentioned our database in which we are going to perform the operation. So if I open the MySQL workbench, then here you can see we have the test database. So that test database, I am going to use it in this video. Okay. So this is how you have to provide the information for your MySQL database node okay and then after you can name this node whatever you want to name it and then after you can press on done and then after you can deploy the flow if node ready successfully able to connect the database then you can see this uh, green light okay and here you will see the message connected because my database is up and running fine if i stop my database okay let me stop it so we will go to the services we will search for mysql services and i'm going to stop the service okay so mysql services are stopped now if i refresh it okay if i try to create the table then you can see error connection refuse okay because we are not able to connect with our mysql database because we have stopped the mysql database services now if i try to refresh our test database then you won't see any result okay see everything is vanished because our database is not up and running fine so what we have to do is we have to again uh, start our database so we can search for mysql and we can start it okay and then we can go to mysql workbench 
we can close this instance we can try to connect again here we will provide the password and we are connected okay and right now you see we don't have any tables so let me create the first table so we will inject this node okay and in all the inject nodes we have put the queries okay so let me show you the queries as well so in this create table node i have provided the create table query so if you double click here then you will see the query here create table if not exist sensor data the first column is the id second column is the timestamp okay the third column is temperature and the fourth column is humidity so this is how you have to provide your query here so once you provide this query and once you inject that query using message.topic it will create the table in your mysql database so now i'm going to inject it and here you can see the response is okay and here we have also got the response so it means that everything is okay and our table is created now i can refresh it and here you can see we have our sensor data table i can select top thousand row and here is our table structure id timestamp temperature and the humidity okay whatever we have passed in this query that we need four column id timestamp temperature and humidity that is created here now we want to delete this table then we can use this inject node okay so here you can see drop table if exists sensor data so if sensor data table is available in our database then it will delete that table so i'm going to inject it and here again you can see the output is okay so it means the table is deleted now i can click on tables i can refresh and you can see there is no table of sensor data okay so table is successfully deleted now i can again create the table i can go to my sql workbench refresh all and here is my table available okay so this is how you have to use this two node create table and the delete table after that we are going to insert the data into the table so here in this to inject node i have put the insert query so let me show you the insert query so insert into sensor data table and what we are going to insert is the temperature and the humidity id and the timestamp it will take automatically okay we don't have to provide the id and timestamp we can provide but right now it will take it automatically and the temperature value we are go going to provide is 25.5 and the humidity we are going to provide is 60.0 sorry 60.2 okay and that's it we can press on inject and our uh, data is injected into our database now i can run this query and here we have our data you can see the id which is auto incremental okay here is the timestamp okay here is the temperature and here is the humidity now i can again uh, perform the insert query with some different data so this is the insert query with some different data so i have increased the temperature okay and i have decreased the humidity here so that's it i can inject okay and i can run this query again select query and here you can see we have another data okay temperature is increased humidity is decreased okay so this is how you can uh, integrate node with mysql database now we have uh, performed the create table operation delete table operation insert into the table operation now we will perform the select from the table operation so uh, here is our select query select star from sensor data so it will select everything from the sensor data table okay and then it will pass that detail to this table node and this table node will display the data in the table format into our node red dashboard so i'm going to launch my node red dashboard and here you can see the default table is blank now what i will do is i will inject this node okay so output is okay and it has added the data into my table here you can see id column timestamp column temperature and the humidity and here is the output of this debug node okay so here you can see this is the output of this debug2 node and this is how your data will look like that id is one this is the timestamp this is the temperature data and this is the humidity data and for the second row we have this data okay so one object will represent one row second object will represent the second row okay so i hope this thing is clear 
and here you can modify your select query as per your requirement you can put where condition order by condition anything and it will provide you the data and according to that data it will create the table in your node-read dashboard so if you want to generate the report okay then you can use this select query to generate the report in your node-read dashboard now this flow will be available publicly on this link okay i have already attached the link here you can click here and you can get this flow you can copy the json you can import the flow in your node red and you can directly use it okay also you can try something uh, in this flow as per your requirement but that's it from my end and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send me a mail also you can comment on this video and all the social media link is available on our website so let's meet in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you